going on guys Paul Tech here again and today we're going to do a comparison between two Samsung devices I got the Samsung Galaxy S5 here and I got the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge so basically we're just going to go ahead and jump to CPU here and we're going to just check out the differences between the two so on the Samsung Galaxy S5 it does have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 and on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge it is rocking the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. So let's go ahead and slide to device here and we'll kind of take a look at the differences. So on the S5 you do get a 5.1 inch Super AMOLED display. It is 1080p so that would be 1080 by 1920 and on the S7 Edge here you do get a 5.5 inch display Super AMOLED as well and it is 1440 by 2560 so as you can see there kind of see the differences and this is quad HD on the Galaxy S7 Edge as well so let's go ahead and move on and let's go ahead and jump to the Geekbench 3 test here and we'll just kind of compare the numbers and just kind of see the difference if you're thinking of upgrading from the Galaxy S5 to the Galaxy S7 Edge you're going to have some numbers to compare between the two here now on my S5 I'm still running Android 5.1.1 Lollipop I haven't received a Marshmallow update yet but out of the box the S7 Edge is running Marshmallow 6.0.1 so that's a nice uh, difference between the two there so let's go ahead and run the benchmark test and kind of just compare these numbers a lot of people are thinking about upgrading from their s5 and you might want to get the s7 edge so in that case this video should help in comparing just the numbers between the two but i can guarantee i've used the s5 for some time now probably about two years and i've been using the s7 edge for about two weeks and i gotta say there is a huge difference in performance and battery life the fingerprint sensor is way better on the S7 Edge here. Now these devices are water resistant, but the annoying thing was on the S5 was this flap on the bottom here that usually got in the way when you were trying to charge your device. And the S7 Edge is water resistant, but it has no flap whatsoever. You got your down facing speaker there, which makes um, audio a lot better than it being on the back. So also, let me just point out while the S5 is still running its tests, as you can see the volume rockers there the volume rockers are different you got a space between the s7 edge here so you can kind of tell the difference between up and down well on the s5 it's just one single bar there as well so both of these do have expandable storage which is really nice we got the power button on the right side of both of these devices there uh, expandable storage now you don't got a swappable battery on the S7 Edge, but you do have a larger battery and you do have quick charge, which will speed up the charging of this device. So let's go ahead and just compare the numbers here. We got 747 single score on the S5 and 1717 single score there. So also a multi-core score, 2379 and 4867 multi-core score on the Galaxy S7 Edge here. So this is just a quick video, just a quick comparison, just between the uh, numbers, single core and multi-core score. And uh, like I mentioned, I've used both of these devices. I've used the S5 for a long time now. And I got to say, I have experienced a lot of screen issues where the screen gets either stuck or frozen and I have to restart my device. And it does lag from time to time, it being an older device. And I haven't experienced any type of lag, any type of screen freezing whatsoever on the Galaxy S7 Edge. And just this Edge design just looks really nice. And I really like this um, silver titanium color. But yeah, as you can see, um, that's just kind of the difference there with this test. I'll do a full review and I'll compare the camera, uh, fingerprint sensor, and just the overall difference uh, between the two devices. I got the Galaxy S6 as well. I'm actually filming on the Galaxy S6. So that's a really good device as well. And uh, I've used it. My biggest concern with the Galaxy S6, and I've read this a lot in different comments, is the battery life on that. It's really not that great, and it does tend to suffer from time to time. So I'll do another review on that as well. But if this video was helpful, please hit the thumbs up button, and I will talk to you on the next video.